Hey everyone, my name is Tobias Siegel with Promo Life, and today I've got a great guest. His name is Andrew Scheim. He's a holistic practitioner out of New Mexico, and we've been talking for quite a while, and we feel like we've come up with a really positive way to address the middle ear with ozone using a different type of technique. Um, so today I'm going to have Andrew dive into dive into that for a little bit and go over the process and what it means and how this could hopefully be a game changer for people dealing with middle ear issues. Uh, thank you, Tobias. Uh, yes, I I brought this to Tobias because I had a lot of issues with my middle ear. I had water in my middle ear. I was losing my hearing. I had had an infection. It was a whole slew of issues. And I went to an ear doctor and that got me thinking about how I could use ozone to treat the middle ear and your station tube. And I was checking around and people would say, well, we treat middle ear infections and they're all doing the stethoscope. And I said, well, how do you get in there? And they couldn't really answer the question. So I started looking further and essentially I came up with this technique that mimics a device called the Eustachy. But this is a way essentially very simply to get ozone up the eustachian tube towards the middle ear and treat a whole slew of issues that can come with a station to malfunction and in your ear. Yep. So it, pure and simple, the whole deal with ozone, anybody who's had sinus infection and then started using ozone realized, well, I can get the gas deep into my sinuses. We, we want to be able to direct the ozone to the area that we need to address. And the middle ear has always been a big difficulty because you can't get to the middle ear in a station tube through, through the outer ear. And you can't just generally get to it through the sinus. So we're going to show you a simple technique to direct the ozone directly up the eustachian tube, treat any issues, possible infections in the eustachian tube, drain the middle ear, and all this. You can Google all the host of issues that go around middle ear eustachian tube mis, uh, dysfunction. Absolutely. Okay. So I'll, I'll I'll go over the technique. Um, it's pretty simple. It's going to be a, a take on sinus insufflations. So the first thing we're going to need is a syringe that's filled with ozone. Um, we're going to have that syringe filled to at least 30 cc's. Um, and then I have this little piece that I have. Uh, it's a female to female Lorillac connector. And then we have these, this is available on our website. We also have this blue cap that's going to go up the nose. It's going to create a better seal. This is also available on our website. And what we're going to do is we're going to push these together like this, and it allows us to screw it directly to the syringe. So, I've got 30 cc's of ozone in the syringe now. Remember, do not breathe this ozone gas as that will make you cough and it'll be uncomfortable. We're going to, uh, when we push this ozone gas up our nose, we're gonna try to push it into the eustachian tube, uh, which is connected to the middle ear. Um, we're gonna do this a little differently than a traditional sinus insufflation. Traditional sinus insufflations, you're just gently pushing a little bit of air up your nose and you're holding your breath while you do it and you exhale lightly. We're going to do this with a little bit more force. So we're going to plug one nose and then there's another step in the process. We're going to push the gas up our nose, but as we're pushing it up our nose, we're going to swallow. Okay. We're going to do a nice big swallowing action. Very similar to like you're popping your ears if you're sick or if like, let's just say if you're going up or up and down in altitude, you can feel that, that pressure of, in the ear build up. A lot of times we swallow to make that pop happen. So we're going to force that ozone up our nose relatively quickly while swallowing like this. And you should feel, you should feel some popping action take place. And that's going to be that it's that popping action. That's going to be sending that ozone into the eustachiary, you do station tube to the middle ear. And that's how we're going to get it there. Right. And one other thing, there is a technique that I learned from my ear doctor which potentially can help direct it even more effectively up the middle ear. And for that, you would probably would need to plug your nose, but you're going to push the bone that you're the side you're treating. Yeah. You're going to roll uh, on this bone and essentially direct. It's going to create a direction up the station tube. So it's a literal physical yeah. orientation of the, of the station tube. And this can also help with people with deviated septums and potential structural issues. So that's a little add-on option. You will need to probably plug the nose with a paper towel. And then, so yes, you're... In, in this case, let's just say this is plug. Okay. 
Well, now you're going to have to get down the technique of swallowing while you push. So Yeah, and th that's that pretty easy. easy. That's not hard. Practice, so yeah. it took me a couple times to figure it out, but just make sure you're not actively inhaling the gas while you're swallowing. It's pretty easy to not do that. Um, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised that it'll you're going to feel some popping, especially if your ears are plugged, and it'll be a way to deliver some ozone gas to that hard-to-reach area where we can hopefully have some, you know, benefits to treating uh, middle ear issues. And, you know, I probably it would be best to maybe if you're, well, if you're plugging the nose mechanically with some device or with tissue or toilet paper, um, you might want to repeat this procedure three or four times if, let's say, you have a, an ear infection or a station tube infection. So you could use a 30 cc syringe, get one from Promo Life, and repeat it three or four times. Uh, yeah, I think it's a. I think it's really important. I don't want to mention like you may have to do this a couple times. Like during that push, that swallow, you have to make sure that seal is there. If you mess up that seal, it's not going to work. And so you got to have that that swallowing action with that pressure going up the nose. That's going to create that. Hopefully, you know you'll feel some form of like pressure popping and that's going to be that delivery mechanism to get that ozone to that area and yeah you know you could also if you want to just see how that eustachia works you always go, go out and buy that and uh see yeah you know how that device works but that would be that's not going to have ozone uh and therefore if you have an infection you're, you're missing out uh, on that so this is the beauty of this treatment to really stimulate the tissue to heal, to deal with potential infections and uh, to get that eustachian tube functioning properly. Absolutely. Um, no, I really appreciate your time, Andrew. And um, let us know, tell us uh, where people can get more information you know, about what you do. I mean, we're going to have, we're going to have your website obviously below, but tell us what we you know, where they can find you as well. Uh, well, I'll post the phone number also. Uh, what I do is I work with integrative protocols using a lot of holistic technologies and, and protocols. Okay. I, tr I try to uh, train people to understand not just buying the tools, but actually breaking down what they're treating, kind of get the deeper insight into the holistic view. And, and then we en enact the tools. And, uh, you know, my goal is to get you functional at home with a home clinic. Most people, uh, you know, particularly with ozone, they just can't afford going to the clinics. And the beauty yeah, of pricing. having a, a promo life kit at home is if you get, I always say, if you get COVID on Monday and you make an appointment with an ozone doctor and get there on Thursday, you're already deep in the in the woods. So it's nice two hours, two hours later when you're feeling something coming on, like the sinus where the where COVID incubates, just just do a great sinus placement. Let's say it's crawling up the eustachian tube. Now you got that little side sidebar treatment going up there and you get a more effective treatment. So it's great to have these home clinical tools that you can use anytime, anyplace, anywhere and learn how to do it. Yeah, it's it's a powerful tool. And, and we really appreciate you for bringing this, this technique to our attention. I think it's going to play a good role or a vital role in helping a lot of people out there deal with uh, conditions and um, I would expect, you know, you're always an innovator on it. I would expect more to come. So thank you very much, Andrew. Thank you. And yes, we'll, I'll post my, uh, we'll have my phone number below and my website. And we do have a YouTube channel with a whole bunch of teaching videos. And that is one Great. of my passions is to, you know, know the options, know what's out there. It's information so important. There's so much uh, disinformation too. And we're really trying to help you learn and how to get a, really a home functional clinical environment. I think in today's world, everybody really needs to start focusing on that. I agree. I totally agree. Got to start at home. That's where, that's where it starts. Right. And if you look at, you know, Promo Life's uh, tech range of technologies, it really reflects uh, a lot of where I go and what I look at. And uh, you have similar goals. You're trying to empower people to do their own, self-treating and, and learn how to do it. Absolutely. Well, hey, thanks again, Andrew, and we appreciate everything. Thank you. Pleasure. Take care. Take care.
Thanks for watching. Check out our other YouTube videos for more information and be sure to follow us on social media. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and hit that notification bell for future videos.